Here we go, here we go, here we go. Rock and roll, rock and rock and roll. But it ain't a day for rock and roll, no, my friends. It's June 1st. It is the day for Sand and Ashes. My fourth book. I trip over that because it's really a volume. To me, a book is 200 plus pages. My fourth volume of poetry is now available everywhere I list in the uh, text for this video. But predominantly Amazon, you'll need Kindle, which is free. You'll need Nook, if you buy it from uh, Barnes & Noble. Everywhere else, you'll need a standard e-reader. But I recommend the Adobe e-reader. It's not Acrobat, it's just called Adobe Holy Smokes. Yeah, Adobe Holy Smokes. Let's just look up Adobe e-reader. Results will come up. I believe it's a free download. I don't remember. Yeah, I do. I'd remember if I paid for it. So yeah, today is the day. Whee! Balloons and fireworks. Poets and lovers of poetry all over the world are just having a heck of a day as they read through 95 adventures. It's like going through a gallery and looking at 95 brand new po uh, portraits, rather, you've never seen before. Landscapes, people, Abstracts. <laughs> so, yeah. Another news, not a hell of a lot. Just got back from the kidney doctor, and I'm doing good. I'm not great. I'm doing good, which is good. Not doing great. I'm doing good, which is good. It would be great to be good. And then I think when's the twelfth if this is the first two weeks we have the echocardiogram. And then a week later the results, you know, you know, up in north in Beverly Hospital, now Leahy Clinic, apparently, um they used to do the the echo and then I'd wait fifteen minutes and then would come the cardiologist telling me the results. I didn't have to wait a week. Lazy, lazy, lazy people down here in Florida. I was warned. You know, now that Mike Bollier is moving uh, down to South Carolina, I warned him. I said, everything moves slower. So don't get frustrated, Mike. If things that took half hour take all day or something like that. You know. He intends to keep running... Connect Web Technologies. Um, he, he, he revealed to me that he'd be doing that until, well, he couldn't work anymore. Because I guess he and Sue have no retirement portfolio. I can relate. I mean, mine got destroyed in the uh, bankruptcy and all. Um, so, you know, what I got is what I got. And when that runs out... <laughs> Live in Alpha SSDI or whatever it morphs into. See, I don't know when I get the retirement age, which they keep upping. Should I live so long? Um, whatever my retirement age will be, I don't know if things change to Social Security because this is Social Security Disability Insurance. I mean, I paid into it. It's not a gift. It's not a. But it's it's not the social security thing uh, that that bank account that they've been keeping for me since 1977. Right. Like the money I put in is really there. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. And I shouldn't really give two hoots. The next step is to move on to uh, uh, getting uh, uh, seven centers, I'm never going to say that right, seven centers ready 
for publication in September. And then whenever I feel like nosing down and working on Boston dialect, I'm sort of afraid to start it because it has a mythic quality in my mind uh, that it's like this gr the greatest thing I ever did, you know, like my Sergeant Pepper, you know, if I have to use a Beatle analogy. Though I think Abbey Road's a better album, but then, then, then whatever. Um, and I'm afraid I'm going to find out it sucks. <laughs> All right, folks. See ya.